Welcome to the Handy J Tops 2021 Series 1 box break in celebration of the new season, the 2021 season, getting back to normal. This is a CM Hunk, your three time Handy J champion, probably the greatest champion. At least that's what they say, that's what they tell me. Uh, we got the draft coming up here in a couple weeks, but the first thing we're going to do, uh, just to kind of get ready for it, we're going to open two hobby boxes that were a pain in the butt to get a hold of, because the Topps website was going down the day that uh, these were released. Uh, but we were able to get two boxes, and we're going to open them, see what we get. Should be a lot of fun. We've also been working on the 2021 Andy J hype video. Uh, almost complete. We'll have that uploaded to YouTube in a week or so, hopefully. There's the hobby exclusive pack. Four in there, and you get one autograph or one relic per box. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get uh, more than that. Hopefully, we can get a uh, somebody from the Cubs, or somebody we can get graded that will be uh, we can resell. So we'll go ahead and start. First pack. All right. Hey, first card right off the bat. Joe Adele rookie. Very first card we pull. Pretty sweet. We might as well sleeve that bad boy up. Not hearing a whole lot about the rookies from this uh, this release, so. I think Joe Adele and then uh, Mount Castle from Baltimore. There's Tyler Stevenson, rookie. Eddie Alvarez. Casey Mize, there's another one. Let's leave that guy up. Sixto Sanchez. Get that. This is been a pretty good pack right off the bat. So Jay Bruce in his uh, new uniform with the Phillies. Malik Smith, there's a Brandon Crawford, Chris Paddock, part of that San Diego rotation that's going to win a lot of games this year. There's a late Tony Gwynn, one of the 35th anniversary of that 82, or 88, uh, Eduardo Rodriguez, Dansby Swanson. Just a Sheffield and a Cabin BGO. Not bad for the first pack. Get that saved up real quick. All right, pack two. So Luis Castillo. There's Big Riz, Severino, Max Freed, there's Albert Mora Jr. We wish him the best, he's with the Mets now, part of that Cubs championship team. They seem to have shut the window on themselves, should have at least, should have walked away with two. Two titles with that team. And it looks like they're only going to get the one. Which it could be worse. They could have not had any. So Jose Abreu. Verlander. Urias. Kershaw. It's a nice looking Griffey. One of the 
inserts they have this year. Not bad. Dylan Bundy, his new home. Went there last year. We'll see how he does under Joe Madden. The Angels haven't had a whole lot of luck when it comes to pitching. John Means. Giolito. It's a good looking card there. Look at that hair. Yeah, pretty sweet. Kobe Jones. Max Muncy. There's Tatis. There's the money card right there, right? The Fernando Tatis, card number one. This guy just signed a huge extension. Looks pretty good. He's bringing the fun back, they say. There's a little, uh, you get your hand sanitizer on there. Just part of everyday life now. Justin Dunn, Future Stars. There's a Joey Bart rookie. Looking pretty good. Daniel Carlson. There's a Chappie. A Kyle Lewis, sharp looking card. Man, you Darvish. Would have liked to have seen him go one more year, at least, before they just decided to get rid of him. San Diego's going to be tough. I, man. I don't know. I think I would have kept Darvish and just went without Arietta and the rest of the guys that they signed. Michael Lorenzen, Tim Anderson. There's a Jose Quintana. He's now in Anaheim as well. Lewis, Trey Turner. And what do we got here? There we go. There's one of the different. We'll come back to that one real quick. D backs, Pirates. So, we've got a. It's got a different color border. I guess it might be a gray. Got one of the different borders they have. Maybe maybe platinum. Alex Verdugo out of seventy. Pretty cool. All right, that's one stack down. Move on to our next stack. Manzera, Kearns, Ray. White Sox, they're going to be good this year. I do wonder why they went back to Tony La Russa. I think they were probably okay with uh, Rick Renteria. Cody Bellinger. Lindor, now with the Mets. The Mets are going to be tough. Pujols. Pujols, who, whose wife was indicating that he may... Only play the rest of the season and then retire. Had a good career. There's Marcelo Zuna. He resigned with Atlanta, I do believe. Fantasy Beast for me, by the way. I am the three time champ. There's a Harrison Bader. D. Strange Gordon. He's got the. Uh, probably something we're going to see a lot of. He's got the face mask on so it's like a little time capsule when you're looking at him a few years down the road Josh Bell he's in Washington now I think I can keep him for five bucks this year I'm not sure he's one buck or five bucks it was a good trade Clevenger you gotta love the tats Bragman. I 
I'll have to go back and see what the uh, the short prints and the variations are because I'm not too keen on that. There's a Ricky Henderson 70th anniversary. Juan Soto. Probably just crushed it 450 feet. Spencer Howard. The Blackman, Luis Patino. Jewelry. Kilo Marte. Looks like we've got another gold border. Oscar Mercado. Actually had a pretty good year, I want to say, last year. Well, that's number uh, 2021. So you got him from St. Louis. You probably wouldn't mind uh, having him back. Patrick Corbin. Rojas. Jack Flaherty. Probably going to win a lot of games this year. Hope not, but he probably will. Bowers, Eloy, Davis, Freeman, there we go, this is what we're talking about, El Mago, hopefully he bounces back, he needs a bounce back here, Colton Wong, Deglaver Torres, Archer, Chadwick Trump. Ooh -wee. Get in there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Hopefully we get back to the old hobby. Not the swing and a miss hobby. I'm the guy who drives it in the steeds. Raphael Davis, there's another one there. There's our first repeat. Aquino. It's like sometimes you can go run into Walmart or Target and buy three or four packs and you end up with a lot of the same stuff. Kind of wonder if it's just luck or the way they sequence it when they're packing it. It gets to be kind of irritating. All right, what we got here? There's Mount Castle. Looks pretty good. Baltimore, they're always, uh, seems like they're always reloading, retooling. Just can't ever get past, get over the hump. Woo, there we go. Didn't even see that one. We'll come back to that in a sec. Wilson Ramos, there's a Kershaw. 2020 World Series. Sharp looking card with that logo on it. And there's a Luis Robert. You gotta feel happy for Kershaw that the Dodgers finally pulled it off. Alright, let's see here. There it is. So that's our hit for the uh, box. That's a good one too. A Tony Gonsolin rookie. Or Tony Guns on auto. 25 out of 25. Sticker auto, not on card, but that's okay. We'll probably send that off to get graded. Pretty sweet. Happy about that. I, I really don't like getting the jersey or the patch cards. Especially from just the, the, the tops flagship, because I think they don't look as good. They're usually just plain cut, all one color patch, or swatch, whatever you want to call it. Get out of here. Trevor Bauer, a big man now. And that Dodgers rotation behind Kershaw. There's LeMayhew. Wish the Cubs still had LeMayhew. There's Garrett Cole. There's 
Keller Profar. There's a different type of stars in service. Adam Wainwright. Guess he's coming back to St. Louis. Burroughs rookie, there's a future stars Bichette, Junis, there's Candyman, there's another Mercado, just the regular Noah Border, Joakim Soria, some Mookie Bats, man, that looks good too. There's a lot of Mookie Betts cards. He just looks good in a Dodgers uniform. Seems to fit him well. I'd probably rather see him in a Red Sox uniform. But that's okay. Alright. Castellani. Heath. There's Otani. I haven't looked at the checklist a lot to really know what there is. Other than just the base, I don't really know much about the uh, inserts. I was just happy to be able to wake up in the middle of the day and be able to click, click, click like crazy on the top website, which was really having some issues. You would add, put two boxes in your cart. You go to check out and say there's nothing in your cart, so you go back and try to put there's Ian Happ. So he's gonna be starting in center for the Cubs. You get two in your cart, go to check out, and they would say it was empty. And you so uh, you go back and you try to put two more in there. And say you've already got two in there. But you can never view it. Yeah, Mike Miner. Shiny. Just a regular back. Nothing to it, but that looks pretty good. Mike Miner's one I thought might, uh, what does his stats look like? Might be better than what I just didn't really sustain after that 2013 and 2011 seasons. But it might end up a little bit better. Oh, look at that. The same pack. There's a Walker Bueller. Walker Bueller. Hey, this is how you start off a pack right here. Not bad. Nico Horner. Future Stars. Looks good. JD Davis. Roman Quinn. No Bryce Harper yet. Speaking of the Phillies, here's one of those uh, reprints that they're doing. It's kind of fooling a lot of people, I think. Yeah. Or what? Well, I don't know what it is. I know I have this card. Probably out in the shed. Might even be in the garage. This one looks familiar. I remember this set. I don't know if I have this card in particular. There's Mookie Bats. Look at that. Alright. Down to our last stack from the first hobby box. Maybe we can pull some more Cubbies. Jose, you're quitting. Pulled an auto of him from uh, last year's Allen and Ginter. It's pretty cool. Also had a, uh, a Bregman rip card. And of course I ripped it because I'm not a Bregman fan. And uh, inside was a... Look at that. That's how they fool you. This is the one that's been really been getting people. Is this set right here. Uh, the through the years. Let's see the back. Right. 
Can I tell you about the card? And the front has it on there. So it's hard to kind of see it first. You, you don't really notice the border. You just see all this. And you think, oh my God, what a hit. That would be uh, pretty sweet to have. One of three. It'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, but inside the Bregman rip card was a uh, super short print of Otani with a nice crease right down the face. So I don't know if you might came across that before and what they were able to do with it with the big crease down the face, if, how it graded out or how it sold. If anybody has a uh, right there, this guy's gonna be a stud. Probably be probably be one of the hunks this year. CM Hunk might have to uh, get him. There's Harper. Overrated. A nice looking Abreu foil. Tyler Chatwood, he's gone. Thank God. Never met a batter he didn't want to walk. So I think he took his services to Toronto or Buffalo or wherever it is they're playing now. Look at that. Another great way to lead off a pack. Look at this. Wilson Contreras. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Man, that stinks. Gosh. Come on, guys. How did this get past quality? It's the only one I've seen with a any kind of imperfection on it. Just looking at it. There's a trout. I would rather this trout have the dent in it than this Contreras. Uh, so I have to eBay it. Unless I may get one in the other box too. There's you out of here. Staying for another year. One of the best guys uh, to ever do it. Another trouty. Beaver. Hands up, masks up. Bellinger and Betts. Machado and a Soto. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how things play out with uh, the NL West with San Diego and the Dodgers just both loaded up. The Dodgers have the experience, but uh, San Diego's hungry. They put together a, a tough team. Well, we've seen teams do that before, and they end up just kind of floundering, not really doing much. Uh, Ian Anderson, and David Dahl. Where's David Dahl at these days? He's still in Colorado. David Dahl is another one of those guys that'd be good. It seems to kind of uh, kind of injury prone. There's Nick Madrigal. He's a young looking guy. His birthday, three five ninety seven. He's a young fellow. There's Alec Bohm. That's a good look one right there. So Philly's number one draft pick from a couple years ago. Gavin Lux. Patty Corbin. Jay Bruce once again. Jay Bruce been around a while. Will Clark. Not bad. Nephi Perez. Oliver Perez. Say Nephi Perez has been gone for a while. There, here's. I do believe this guy was just traded to the Cubs a couple weeks ago. Trevor Williams. I'm not sure how that rotation is going to shake out, but he was solid a couple years ago. So hopefully they can correct whatever the issue was with him. And uh, there we go. Uh, it's Bodie. David Boat. I remember Bodie. Uh, it's a grand slam against Washington to win it a couple years ago. It, was, it looked like it maybe when they were really looking at trading Bryant, Bodie was going to be 
the guy to take over at third. There's John Lester. What a shame. What a shame this guy is not going to win 300 in a Cubs uniform. Let him, they let him walk. They could have given him $5 million. He would have stayed. They let him go. Irritating. Paddock. Mats. Here's one of your home run derby. Francisco Lindor. Meh. Let's check out the other side. Look at that. Cleveland Indians, they say. Not anymore, I say. Griffin Canning. This is the last pack, by the way, from the first um, hobby box. And with Rosella Iglesias. All right. So not a bad, not a bad one. Um, Tony Gonzalez Auto. And the, a handful of rookie cards that you would expect to at least get. Uh, we'll just set them in here. All right. Let's open this. The hobby exclusive. Maybe. Let's see what we wind up with. Ooh. Tristan McKenzie rookie. The bad thing about these two, when they make them with this this chrome, is that they are already just a little bent. I don't know if you could see that. I see they got like a bend to them already. That always concerns me if I'm going to get it graded or try to sell it. Just rip open the excitement. Post your packs. Yeah. All right. And Nolan Arenado. He's in St. Louis. That's unfortunate. Uh, St. Louis always seems to make the big trade, too, to kind of get a key guy that becomes a cornerstone for their team for a while. I see him do it uh, in the 90s, 2000s, like when they get McGuire or... Molder, Roland. All right, get this cleaned up. And we'll open box number two. Exclusive pack. Get off there. No, 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 no. All right. Let's throw that bad boy back there. All right. Let's start with our. Second box, here we go. Will it be better than the first? It's gonna be the first anytime I bought any. First one's always better than the second. Alright. Is there Mount Castle? Carrera. Red hand. Carter Kaboom, there's another Lindor, Pujols, alright, let's turn that a little bit, Manzara, Hayes, Ray, another White Sox team card, Miles Michaelis, Bay. What a year they had last year. I was hoping they could, uh, nothing against Kershaw on those guys, but I was hoping Tampa Bay could at least pull it out. Haven't pulled a, a Randy or Rosarena yet either, by the way. There's another Ozuna. 
Hunter Harvey, another D. Gordon Strange, Gliber Torres. This is, uh, I don't know, the, the choices they made for that top Project 2020, but this is one I would have liked to have seen them work with. Is that Wade Boggs? I like that Wade Boggs. Or the Sandberg. Brady Singer. Another Jack Flaherty. Danny Mendick, Clevenger, Bregman, Lazardo. Who's the? There's the base to our our auto. Tony Gonsolin, Luis Patino, Brandon Drury. How about that? Patrick Sandoval, Brew Crew, Flaherty. Let's check out this Rizzo. It was backwards. Looks good. Man, I hope he uh, turns it up this year. Big Riz. Spencer Howard. There's another Javi. Probably just uh, swung through a ball that was a foot off the plate. Harper. John Gray and another Chadwick Trump. So what's up with Chadwick Trump? We've had a couple of his now. Hmm. I don't know if we're just because of the shortened season it's uh, not a lot of info on some of these guys that are making their rookie debuts and stuff like that I'm wondering why it's just the rookie class is just not really talked about Jake Bowers there's another Eloy Mr. Chris Davis with a K Christian Yelich. Elbows only. I know Justin Upton was still around. Ooh. Two young studs right here. The future of baseball. Who's that? Bobby Dahlbeck. Here's another Joe Adele rookie. Oh yeah. Another Albert Almora. This is Jackie Robinson, 35th anniversary. Looks like he's, he sees something in the grass. He's getting ready to smack it. Trent Grisham. I want to say I had Trent Grisham last year on my fantasy team. I don't remember who I had. Last year was not good. Last year we went mixed league. We usually go NL only. There's a Casey Mize rookie. And it just, uh, I think the shortened season, a lot of the players, it's just not what your body's used to. So guys got up to slow starts or no starts at all. And uh, it was just kind of rough. Kirsch. So here's a good looking uh, Jonathan Daza, Daza, foil. Kevin Biggio, Baltimore, Texas. Some celebratory Mets card. I can see the Mets becoming a great disappointment this year, too. They go out and they make some moves, uh, and they'll have it implode. They'll have one. This will be their one season. They'll go uh, to the NLCS, and they won't win a game or something. There's another big Riz. What instead? 
like these upside down cards. Anyway. Max Muncy, Zach Britton, Fernando Tatis, Clayton Kershaw, 70 years. Nick Sinzel. Yeah, I thought this guy was going to really be something. He's not done a whole lot. Of course, he's just starting out. Um, no, average is pretty low. Not that average is an indicator as to whether or not you're any good, but he certainly should be hitting better than that. Jose Abreu. Lenny Garcia. This is an all AL pack so far. Matt Olson. Jeez. Give me these AL guys. Chapman. There we go. Lorenzo Kane. Eh. Hanniger. Nats. Who's this guy? Cody Hauer. Rookie. The White Sox. Maybe you know who he is. I don't. John Means, Giolito, Galvis, Jacoby Jones, Kyle Lewis, Trey Turner, there's a Joey Bats, 35th anniversary. Alex Gordon, another you, you know who, you Darvish. Now watch this guy win 20 plus games with the Padres this year. He's figured it out. Uh, he's got his confidence back after Houston screwed him up with that trash can crap in the World Series. Jorge Alfaro. Gensler. Cole. Mitch Keller. Well, we got a bordered card of Zach Britton. Let's see what we got. Green. Some kind of green sparkle. Pretty cool. Kind of like the uh, reminiscent of the cracked ice versions you get from uh, Panini. And this is out of $4.99. I realize he's been around for a bit. Who's this guy? Ryan Webb. Ryan Brazier. Alright. Something in here too. Lorenzen Anderson. There's another Quintana. Trevor Bauer. Hmm. Will Smith, Mercado, Nemo, Frazier. Stars in Service. Junior. Pretty sweet. We near the 40 minute mark. Who would have thought? We'll kind of speed it up a little bit. Austin Meadows. There's that Mookie Betts card. Man. Looks good. Of course, the Dodgers are kind of the same boat as the Cubs, even though they're they're spending more money and dedicating it each season to these guys. They've only walked away with one title thus far. This is Boba Shed again. There's Austin Riley and a pair of feet. Michael Taylor, Gio Urshela, Francisco Mejia. I'm waiting for this guy. To turn the corner. I think this guy's going to be something. If he can just figure it out. Christian Javier, rookie. Corey Seager. Must have been the MVP, I'm assuming. Got a new truck that he'll probably give to a family member because he doesn't need it. Ryan Castellini. Otani, Seeger, 
Bellinger. Another foil. This one of Letty Tavares. And the bat just floating. Oh, there he is again. This is him in his normal attire. And then on the weekend. Walker Bueller, Betts, Paul DeYoung. Alright, who we got here? Shane Bieber. There's Fulte. Another Happer. Votto. Roman Quinn. Edmund. Gallo. Hendricks. There's some, uh, a die cut of, well, we'll come back to it. It jumped away. Caleb Smith. Tim Weaver, Kermeyer, Ramos. Reggie Jackson. Platinum Players. Okay. I'm not a big fan of these. You gotta sleeve them up. Tend to get uh, nicks and bends in them way too easy. For our next guy, there's Alvarez, another Nico Horner, Colin Moran. Oh, there it is. The old Major League material. There's a Kirsch, Gurriel, and a Luis Robert. So, our, our one and only probably hit for this box a Blake Snell uh, jersey card. They're just, uh, man, tops, they're, they're just pretty basic looking. You don't ever hardly get a, a stripe or anything. Not that we'll take it, you know. But he's in San Diego now, I do believe. Part of that rotation. And it's going to win a lot of games. Can they win the West? We don't know. I should have got my little holders out, my little displays for these guys. Start finishing up here, Devers. Another Ozuna. Sonny Gray. Aquino, Taylor. Howie Kendrick. Howie Kendrick, World Series hero. Thank God. Thank God for this guy. Well, the Astros would have had two. See, there's another. <laughs> it's like the ultimate troll job. My tops. They throw something in like this. Could you imagine pulling this card? be amazing. Hmm. Yeah, at least as a Cubs guy. It's the only KB I've gotten so far. Maybe they didn't make any for him. Rizzi. There's another Shiner. Edward Olivares. Weep, weep, weep. Oh, you can't see. You can't see. Down there in the bottom left corner, it's just got a little bend to it. And then. Uh, all right. Brendan McKay. There's another Chatwood. There's an Acuna. First one just by himself that we've gotten. Surprised they're able to fit him on the card. He's a long guy. Number 263. I hope he's better than Mike Trout. So I think he's the next Mike Trout. I hope he's better. There's Christian again. Plutko. Kirby Yates, Archie Bradley, Yaddy Molina, Joey Bart, The Future, Manny Machado. Alright, three more to go, and then the hobby exclusive. 
And that'll wrap it up. Should finish in uh, under an hour. How about that? There we go. Thank you. No bend. At least we got one. I don't have to get on eBay and spend uh, 99 cents on the card and five dollars on shipping to uh, complete it. Trout, another one. Good looking card. Reese Hoskins. There's Judge. Probably just crushed a monster dinger 500 feet. Jose Aria. How oh, those Marlins, those pesky Marlins. Boyd, Voigt, Reddick, Yastrzemski. I've got a few of these Patrick Corbins. Why? 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 It seems like we made too many of them. Bobachet. Young Pup. Trevor Williams again. Maybe the uh, update set will have him in his Cubs uni. Or maybe they'll just say, you know what? We're not going to make any uh, of these guys because the Cubs were so bad this year. I like Bohm. Another Jay Bruce. How long has this guy been around? This guy's been around for a while. 08. He used to really club some dingers. It's been a while. Looks like he doesn't really hit the ball much at all. Here's our home run derby card, Gliber Torres. Okay. Hunter Renfro, Griffin Canning, Miami Marlins, last card we pull. Hey, Jake Arietta. How about that? That's the last one out of the regular packs. Maybe they'll get him in his uh, Cubs uni. All right. So we'll pop open this bad boy right here. This is going to have something good in it. I think we'll do. Joey Gallo. Xander Bogarts. Verlander. And Shogo. They're all got a nice, nice curvature to them. Well, all right. And that completes our two hobby boxes. So we came out with uh, one of the usual stars for the base, uh, a handful of inserts, which is kind of tops is usually just shoving inserts into every pack. So I like having the base cards over the inserts. I don't really like the inserts I think they're kind of cheesy and then our two hits Blake Snell it's not numbered or anything it's all right and our guns out of 25 we'll send that in to GMA and probably get that graded in the next couple months all right handy Jayers that's gonna do it I'll see you at the draft. Beat me if you can.